helping Londoners to reduce the amount of plastic in their life. I think the supermarkets, I don't understand why they are so slow to react. Schools have only been strongly encouraged to cover LGBT content. Erica shares her thoughts. Having information for students at all ages about families, say, with two same-sex parents or for um, students themselves should be made available. We're here at Liberdex and they're known for their latex products. What's your favourite outfit that you have or favourite item that you go for? Uh, I think my, I like all the military stuff. I'm here with Adira and he's going to give me like the 101 unboxing. Normally you like you keep up here for the film. It's two o'clock. Hello. Welcome to City News with Aaliyah Harris and Connor Clark. Coming up in today's programme, the latest update on the development of the HS2. And we now have Lizzie Williams, founder of the anti-HS2 movement. What are your concerns about the HS2 developments? I've been fighting this for 10 years because of the environmental impact. We're back in the studio now with Megan and we're here to discuss the HS2. The main biggest concern at the moment is the financial costs of HS2. It was two fights, wasn't it, to get the title? Yeah, so it was two fights over two days. Um, I fought on the Friday in the semi-finals. We welcome Uli to the studio, who also works at Gaze the Word Bookshop. It's kind of LGBT History Month every month uh, at Gaze the Word. And on the 28th of, uh, of February, we'll be doing an event with uh, Michael Cashman. Uh -huh. 